Uh, this week and the next week, we are going to learn Metasploit framework. So we will install this uh, environment first. It can be installed on Ubuntu Windows, and Windows is optional. So let's install it on Ubuntu first. Just copy these commands. First, update the system. Paste here. You see, I'm under my home folder currently. Then we download the installer. Usually it's a good idea to keep an eye on these uh, outputs so you know what modules, what softwares are updated. You can see the Linux image is updated, which means the kernel is updated. Here set up this Linux image. In this case, usually they ask you to restart your washing machine. And you can see this is GVM user and GVM group. They are installed by our, our lab 06. And you can see they are also updated now. So this is a uh, technology, everything keep updating. failure over there. Here it looks like uh, my GVM failed. 
after this update. Some updates will break your previous working software. Okay, in this case, uh, it's better uh, reboot the virtual machine because it's updated uh, so many stuff. Let's close these things and reboot it. Okay, open a terminal window and look that open uh, twice. Now we are going to download this uh, installer. Here you type address. See, uh, I have some stuff here. Paste this one. Now you see this MS uh, F install. Search mode. 755 will just plus X. Now you see it becomes green, which means it's uh, executable now. You should do. Okay, this installer is installing the mat exploit framework now. Oops. Here you see some uh, old software, how do you remove them? You run this command to remove this uh, outdated s software. Okay, the installation complete. It asks us to run this uh, MSF console to get st started. So let's run it. 
MSF console. Actually, you can just type MSF, then press your tab key. Press your tab key. You can see there are several MSF programs: Bin Scan, Console, FD, uh, DDB database, ELF Scan, and so on. And we will learn this week and next week about all these uh, commands. Console here. Would you like to uh, use and set up a new database? We type yes. During the installation, always keep your eyes on this output. There are some warnings. Here, success. Now, initial this uh, web service account name, just press enter. Here is my login name, I. Yours is your first name, your login name. Leave it blank for a random password. You can uh, type your password. Here, I would like to type my password here. Oops. Please pay attention. This password does not show up, so you need to pay attention whether you typed it correctly. So here, we need to save this information. Username, password, I typed here. Oops. Okay, now you see uh, everything looks good, right? And you scroll up to check this uh, place. And ask you, please store these credentials securely. You will need them to connect to the web service. So you can uh, copy this stuff until this line. Copy it. You may save it anywhere. I would like to save it here. But it's a good idea saved under your address 250 folder. So go to our address 250 folder saved here. We create a new uh, document. We say uh, msf web initial init .txt. Right click or just uh, press enter. We save these things here. Ctrl S, save it. Here you can type help to see uh, all the commands supported by this uh, console window. And you see the developer commands, credential backend commands, and the database backend commands, resource script commands, job commands, module commands, and the core commands. And we will learn this uh, this week and the next week. So we, we installed the meta, meta exploit framework successfully on Ubuntu. Now let's uh, install it on a, a Windows virtual machine. That's not a required, it's an optional. Please pay attention in order to install this uh, 
Metasploit framework on your Windows, you need to uninstall uninstall your uh, Windows Defender. All, all those prerequisites had had been done in Lab 03. We will check that carefully. Here, I open Lab 03 and then Lab 07. Here on Windows, disable antivirus software, disable firewall, they're all done in uh, Lab 03. If you forgot, you can come back to here to complete all these steps. Lower Windows security security settings. Then you can start install this uh, Meta Exploit framework. Just download this installer and install it with the administrator account. Because I log in as an administrator. So right click, open a new tab. You scroll down to uh, see in the Meta Exploit framework, you can check these uh, prerequisite requirements. Right? Disable antivirus software, disable firewall, obtain administrator privilege, then you install it and go to this uh, is a website to download the software, download the installer. Here the Mass Provide Framework download. And download on GitHub. Then scroll down to find uh, the Windows. Use the installer. I want to find a uh, is a ins installer for Linux as we just uh, used, right? And install for Windows. We download this one. Just click and save it. And this uh, two ideas two fifty tools. see the downloading progress it's about 736 megabyte You can check these uh, settings, adjust your antivirus as needed to ignore this folder, the default integration folder. This command and all related tools will be added to the system path environment variable, which means you can run all commands from any location on your Windows machine. Okay, it's uh, completed. Just click and open it. Just install under the default location. Okay, now on Windows side, the installation is complete. Then you can uh, press your shift key, right click, and open your PowerShell window. You can run CMD, the command prompt, inside your PowerShell. Now you type msf console. You also see the warnings here, right? 
will we will do initialization first. But you see it's on Windows side, the so initialization finished quite quickly. It didn't ask us to type any password in it. It's like uh, on Ubuntu. Here you type help. Now you see similar output as the uh, output on Ubuntu. So this is how do we install Matt's framework on Windows Server 2019.